Hello and welcome back to Triangle Strategy. Last episode, we just got a very dark twist of the story. Uh, after managed to take back Whitehome Castle of Laura uh, right away with Cordelia, we thought that she was kidnapping her, gave chase to her ship, defeated her, but of course we didn't know that uh, Flora and Cordelia was working together as Roland uh, uh, was trying to stab her. Cordelia stepped in and getting stabbed instead, allowing Flora to escape. Now my worry is that Flora knows Roland's identity. Will she go to Gustadolf and tell him about it? Because that's gonna be messing up with our plan. But anyway, this is too good to stop playing, so I'm just gonna continue. Let's get into it. Oh, finally. Overwhelmed by the forces of House Wolfort, Esfrost's troops are scattered and driven from the Crown City. Glenbrook, at last, is free. Oh, but the mining is still, blo still belongs to Esfrost. Several days after this fateful battle, Queen Cordelia announces her intent to abdicate the throne and make way for another. Roland Glenbrook, his face no longer mm. hidden from the world, will take his rightful place at the seat of power. With the prince's friends having only just finished grieving his death, and his enemies having only just finished toasting to it, this news shocks the foundations not only of Glenbrook, but of Norzelia itself. But unfortunately, all the lords by rousing Esfrost's forces and leaving the city unscathed, House Wolfort displays their martial prowess and their loyalty to their liege. The prince becomes king and condemns the schemes of Gustadolf, making known Esfrost's plot to usurp the throne. However, the people's reaction to this news is not quite a chorus of approval. It is plain that the ravages of war and the shame of subjugation have left an indelible mark on the once prosperous nation. Although the battle for oh, Glenbrook no. is behind them, Serenoa and the rest of the city's liberators must make ready for a struggle of an entirely different sort. Glory shall find you. Now we're still in chapter 14, part 2. I wonder if this is going to be story based. Congratulations on returning to your rightful throne, King Roland. King Roland. Ah, you returned. King of Glenbrook, a young king who has reclaimed the kingdom from the Grand Duchy of Asphos. My friend, a word. Yes. I am honored to have had you by my side on this journey. To be able to call you friend. As am I, Roland. Your Majesty, representatives from Hyzant have arrived. We shan't make undue demands of your time, King Roland. We've simply come to say farewell. Without your aid, my people would still be under Esfrost's iron rule. Glenbrook owes you a debt of gratitude. Consider the debt paid. The knowledge we gleaned of Elfric's capabilities was more than worth our troubles. Indeed, it surpassed my every expectation. The Holy One is sure to be pleased with the results. Your Majesty. Can we trust you to lift the embargo and keep Esfrost subdued? Of course. Lord Wolfort has promised his full cooperation in that regard. Your Majesty, lest you misunderstand your friend's position, allow me to make one matter abundantly clear. Minister Serenoa is of the Saintly Seven. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. He is not to serve at your whims. But by the grace of the Hierophant. I hate this. I understand. But he is also a lord of Glenbrook. More importantly, he is my friend. As such, 
I would ask for its assistance in the days ahead, as I have in days past. Your Majesty, it is plain that the friendship between you two runs deep. However, the rules of politics are old and immutable. And what does the Lord himself think of his new position? I don't want to be part of things that I am grateful for the honor Hyzant has bestowed upon me. I will do all in my power to serve both the Hierophant and King Roland with all faithfulness. No, sir, no, no. In other words, the Hierophant does not have your full loyalty. Well, I... Glenbrook and Hyzant are to be two nations united in purpose. Surely it is reasonable that Lord Serenoa acts in service to both? Perhaps King Roland and the Hierophant should discuss my lord's role together. You are right, of course. It is not our place to assume the goddess's intent. Very well. I hope to meet with the Holy One as soon as my duties allow. I expect busy days ahead for you, Sarah Noah. Be prepared. Be Certainly, prepared. Milo shall stay in Glenbrook for the time being. If there is aught she can assist you with, consider her at your complete disposal. Remember, Milo, that you are the symbol of friendship between our two nations. <laughs> but of course, I live to serve, Minister. And with that, we shall take our leave. May we meet again soon. Hmm. They leave us with a spy. It seems we still haven't won their trust entirely. Whatever secrets they uncover will only attest to our commitment to the friendship between us. Still, their actions speak volumes. Their aid has not come without expectation of just recompense. There's still the mystery of the book Already as well. They seek to make Lord Serenoa their puppet. Who stole it? But we need Hyzant's aid to crush Esfrost. And what about Faro? By the same token, we cannot resist Hyzant without Esfrost's might. And once Esfrost is laid low, Glenbrook will have served its purpose. What then would stop Hyzant from tightening their grip? Just as they did with the Rosal. The injustice I saw at the source is not something I'll soon forget. If you require proof of Hyzant's true nature, you need only remember. I know. I know. This country is my home. Built by my father and the kings before him. Safeguarded by my sister and generations of my forebears. I will rebuild it, restore its glory and its pride. We will not be treated as dogs at the end of a leash. For now, we must look within. Only after that work is done should we look without. Aha! Did you hear the news, Gustavo? The crown city has fallen. I see. And what of General Avlor? Dead. He fell into the Norzelia River and has not been seen since. And my siblings, Thalos and Erika. Already become ashes. Fighting bravely in battle. Bravely? I would have put that as brave. I understand. I have fewer pieces on the board than ever now. Pieces. Really is true what they say about him. It seems I was wrong to think that Hyzant would remain idle. Or was my more grievous heir to be taken in by the prince's false death? Hmm. Regardless, I was a fool to show House Wolford any mercy. Your Grace, reports from the battlefield tell of an unknown weapon being brought to bear against our forces. Oh, continue. A purple explosion was seen when the bridge to Castle Whiteholm collapsed. 
That bridge has weathered the elements for untold generations. We mustn't allow Heisen to think they've won the upper hand. I intend to answer their weapon with one of my own. It seems like the Galish shield's gonna be pro Oh, cool. that's it? Well, that's a short one. I guess we can move on to the next chapter. That's a very short one. After retaking Whiteholm Castle, Roland assumes the throne. Joy over the return of the line of Glenbrook sweeps the kingdom. Yet not everyone is quick to welcome Roland back with open arms. Life under S. Frosty rule treated them well, and they suspect him to be naught but a figurehead of a puppet regime. Roland's absence, it seems, made room for discord among his subjects to flourish. Ooh. Ooh, chapter 15, a banner's word. But we didn't destroy the city. There that should count for something, right? Ah, uh, Huet. Pray, do not sound so dismal. Now that we have retaken Whiteholm Castle, you are Glenbrook's rightful king. We've an entire kingdom to rebuild out of the ruins of war. Patriot and the others have been demanding utmost haste. I understand that, I do. But... Oh, Cordelia. If I should lose you too, I... I... I know you have suffered many hardships. So it seems like Cordelia still like hasn't recovered yet? To despair. Me, our comrades, your people... All of us are eagerly awaiting the era of peace our new king will bring. King, eh? My father never once let his emotions overcome him. Not even the day my mother died. I had every intention of following his stoic example, but... Majesty, I bring word from the infirmary. Is it Cordelia? Pray tell me she's alright. Hopefully she's, she's not She's indeed bad. recovering a pace, Your Majesty. Oh, okay, thank good. The stars. It seems she has something to discuss with you all, if you will hear her out. Ooh. Of course. Tell her we'll speak in the garden, but only if it will not tax her over much. Yes, sir. Huet, fetch Saranoa and the rest. Tell them to come to the garden as soon as they are able. Are we in Whitehall? Wait, are we in Whitehall? What is it? You're smiling. Uh, it's only... I thought it would be some time yet before I saw you look so at ease. I'll return shortly with the others. Cordelia, you returned to me after so long. But slow and steady is the path to recovery. Yes, there is no rush. So that is what happened in my absence. Yes. Gustadolf was a clever ruler. After the invasion, Patriot and his royalists cozied up to Espros in order to protect themselves. Gustadolf used them to his every advantage. He stripped them of their privileges and left them nothing but their governing responsibilities. I don't think Patriot much cared for that, but it did ensure everything continued smoothly without interrupting the people's lives. Now I understand why there was little unrest after the occupation began. A clean, effective takeover by a well-seasoned commander. But all the while, he is preparing to face the next conflict. Wait, does he intend to march on Hyzant next? I believe so. I wish I could be more specific. 
But the goddess's shield cannot protect the holy state's capital from Esfrost. Not anymore. He said it will all be over once the death snell is ready. What is this death snell? A new weapon born from the coupling of his frosty ironworking and explosive projectiles. Thallus claimed it is powerful enough to break through the goddess's shield. To think Esfrost is capable of creating such a monstrosity. Ah, what so is their, their goal? Reign of peace. I thought the goal is the mine, but I guess the mine is just a catalyst. Their salt supply, so to speak. Plan. But rebuilding our capital must take priority. Very well. We should investigate the extent of the damage and discuss how best to proceed from there. House Wolfort will lend whatever aid you need. Thank you, Sarah Noah. But since you are one of their saintly seven now, I'd ask you to keep an eye on Hyzance as well. Cordelia? Apologies. A brief spell of dizziness. The former Queen of Glambrook who abdicated the throne after her older brother's return. She has become a symbol of Asperos rule. Nick is as mean as a puppet princess by the pop. I have been looking everywhere for you, your highness. Ugh, Patriot. A Patriot. I do not recall giving you leave of the infirmary. Your injuries are still healing. Would you undo all the trouble I went through to get you the best of care? Pray return to the infirmary at once. <sighs> it wouldn't do to push yourself, Cordelia. Rest now. Leave everything to me. It's amazing how Cordelia survived all right. a fatal blow, but not the rest of the characters. Like Franny and who else? The king? Well, I guess the king is beheaded. To Maxwell. We got a pretty good understanding of the damage in the capital, my lord. What? A tad more than we were expecting. I thought. I thought they're not destroyed. I see. Then we must make haste with repairs. What's the point Let's of destroying the bridge? To Aunt and see what aid they can give us. Was there anything of note besides damage? There ain't an easy way of putting this, but. Not everyone's exactly pleased to hear Prince Roland's return. Oof. Esfrost exempted Glenbrook's subjects from the salt tax. Likely a bid to get in everyone's good graces. A damn good one at that. But more than that, the so-called freedom Gustadolf brought to the kingdom seems to have made a splash. He threw out the old ways and made it so anyone could better their lot in life depending on their ability instead of their birthright. Just as in Esfrost. Then the people must have looked quite favorably upon Gustadolf's rule. I wager folks ain't too pleased to see us since they figure it means things will go back to how they used to be. Uh, Roland surmised as much. We must do something to show the people his is a return worth celebrating. Anna, have you looked into the state of affairs in the castle? Yes. The head of the royalists, Minister Patriot, is extending his influence. He made quite the name for himself, even under Gustadolf. Though he seems eager enough to support King Roland, he was just as eager to serve the Archduke. I do not believe we can trust him. Of course not. Oh. Distinguished members of House Wolford, how hard you are all working to rebuild our capital. What a delightful thing to see. Minister. You do us a great honor visiting us out of all the many other responsibilities that must vie for your attention. Oh, come now, do not think yourself so insignificant. The entire kingdom owes you its thanks, myself included, of course. We are so grateful for House Wolford's aid, even though you now serve a different master. We are only doing what any of King Roland's loyal vassals would. Oh, speaking of the king, I'm afraid we've a bit of a problem. His majesty seems to be entertaining thoughts of retaliating against Esfrost. But the people have had their fill of war. And I'm sure you're already aware the people look upon the royal line with disfavor. 
that's your problem, Patriot. I only Sounds like a you problem, not me problem. Going forward. Oh, how? What about Lord Simone? Oh, Is he morning. still in bed with? Even so, there is naught we can do but focus on rebuilding. Indeed. Let us return to the king and apprise him of our progress. I would walk the city with Gila a bit longer and speak with the people. As you wish. But this is not the capital you knew. Be careful, my love. <gasps> my love. Be careful, my love. Oh my god, 19 character stories. What? Wait, what? Isn't this Sir Maxwell? Wait, do we get him? Wait, what? Oh my god, 19 character stories. 19 characters. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, at least there's no side stories. Okay, let's talk with you. Wait, what? Must you go, sir? I regret to say I must. I have been idle for long enough. But know this. I shall forever be indebted to the Roselle. Oh, the Roselle and fate? No, not why fate delivered my battered body to the shores of your village. But I am fortunate that it did. I owe my life to your kindness. Thank you. You'll have no doubt with us. We only did what was right. But where will you go? Safety is a luxury few are afforded these days. The war rages still, and so long as it does, I must fight with every inch of my being to end it. A single man can't fix this tangled mess of a world. Ah, but I am not alone. Every moment my allies risk life and limb without me is a moment I owe them for their bravery. I must rejoin them at once. I see there's no convincing you otherwise. Very well. But we expect to hear news of your victory soon. I sense the world is on the cusp of great change. Change for the better. When it comes, let us celebrate its arrival together. Well met, friends. I require passage to see Lord Serenor. Wait, are he, is he going to be in our party? And who are you? If you want an audience, you'll have to wait behind the rest. Wait, that cape, it can't be. You're Sir Maxwell. My lord, Sir Maxwell has returned. My apologies for my abrupt departure, my lord. Full glad am I to see you have managed without... But why don't you go back to Roland? The You're kingdom alive. is back now. I... And none the worse for wear, I hope. It seems fate would have me take up my spear once more. Where have you been? We all... We all feared the worst. Avlora's fell blow cast me into the river, and its cold embrace washed away my memories along with my pride. What? I awoke in a village of kind-hearted folk. I might have stayed there, blissful in ignorance had news of your exploits not reach them. It was then that old memories stirred, prideful memories, painful memories. My purpose became clear. I must end this war or perish in the attempt. I hope that I have not come too late to make a difference. Should you not of go back to the king guard? You fight by our side. I only hope you can save Don't get me wrong, I'm not spear. I'll be happy to have them. Ooh, Maxwell joined your forces. Mm. 
Maxwell Aptitude in Battle, Roland's Instructor and the Finest Lancer in all Glenbrook, specialized in mid-range attack, possesses multiple powerful abilities. There's Crown City and there's White Home Castle. I think we should go with the Crown City first. There are more who accepted Esfrost's rule than I imagined. Glenbrook's history is long. Yet. That is why hierarchy and precedent hold sway. This is a stubborn land, my lady, not given to easy change. Though Archduke Gustadolf, acting in the name of freedom, granted privilege after privilege to the powerful. For people used to Glenbrook's rigid customs, I suppose that sort of change must have been too seductive to resist. What should we do then? Perhaps. But his freedom was not but greed and cruelty. Lady Frederica, I've been searching everywhere for you. A Wolfort messenger. Did you run all this way? What's happened? My lady, I hail from Castle Wolfort, bearing tidings of Lord Seymour. Oh. Has he awakened? He has. He is in high spirits and recovering well. And he is most pleased to hear of the capital's recapture. He bids you visit Castle Wolford so he can honor you himself. Oh, I must bring these glad tidings to Saranoa at once. How long it has been since I've seen him smile. There is one more bit of news I have for you, my lady, but it is not so happy. Is there some sort of trouble in the Wolford domain? Bandits are laying waste to the Rosellan village. What? To our shame. Castle Wolfort does not have enough soldiers to stop this. We would beg Lord Serenoa's wisdom in this matter. The enemy must be powerful indeed. We cannot leave the Rosellan village defenseless. Let us inform the others. Messenger, with us. Rule oh, Milo. What say you, Milo? Oh, wow. Things are about to get interesting. Okay, still there. Roland takes steps to rebuild the Crown City, but Patriot and the Royalists have other ideas. Uh, there are no side stories. Yes? coronation ceremony certainly there are more important matters to focus on right now a coronation is important to assuage the people's fears and restore their faith besides which it is the royalists most fervent wish I don't care what the royalists want to treat people believe it to be and right now the world believes Glenbrook weak the ceremony will be a display to the contrary is this truly the remedy our situation calls for? Right now, I imagine the people care only for where their next hot meal will come from. Rest assured, sire, House Wolford will see your subjects shan't go hungry. What the f- but trust That's me, your job, Patriot! ...will hasten Glenbrook's return to her former glory, so much as announcing the return of Regna's rightful heir. To win your subjects' hearts, you need do nothing but ascend to your position upon the throne. You mean sit my royal backside on a fancy chair? In a manner of speaking, a king's duty is first and foremost serving as his kingdom's symbol. You needn't trouble yourself with day-to-day -day governance. We will assume that burden. After all, you have only just been crowned. There will be no ceremony. The people will tell us what they need, and you will listen to them, Patriot. That is my command. Hell yeah, Roland. <laughs> As you wish, King Roland.
How fair things, Suet. Have the relief supplies been given to those who need it? Well, we had received a sizable shipment of goods from Hyzant, but there are complaints. It seems very few of those goods have made it into the hands of the people. And why is that? The we High Lords. Said, though apparently Patriot and the Royalists involve themselves with the distribution. Damn those Royalists! We cannot be left to their own devices. Corruption. I guess that's our next mission. Ooh, conviction. The paths before House Walford diverge, meaning they will have to go their separate way for the first time. Which way will Sir Noah take? Oh my good. Oh, there's a side story here. Okay, let's have let's hear it. With Glenbrook will claim and as for spell a heavy blow, Heisen takes the opportunity to make a strategic move. House Wolfort and Minister Exham's forces have reclaimed the Crown City. And not only that, they have dealt a heavy blow to the S. Frosty forces in killing Thallus and other commanding officers. We couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Oh, to see Gustadolf's face when he hears the news. Now he'll have no choice but to come crawling to us on hands and knees. But that's not gonna happen though. He has his no. sword. This could be our chance to crush the duchy once and for all. Just because they're licking their wounds does not make them easy prey. They still have their iron after all. <laughs> iron. We can get iron. All we need do is make Glenbrook hand over the Grand Norzellian mines to us. A paltry price to pay for our bountiful aid in their restoration of the Crown City. The Grand Norzellian Mines. The spark that lit the flame of Esfrost's aggression. But why go through the trouble to seize an iron source when they have all the iron they could ever need? I should have Milo look into the matter. Minister Edor? Hmm. Well, regardless, we control the salt. I say we bide our time until Esfrost admits they are defeated. Besides, Glenbrook seeks our aid in their reconstruction efforts, do they not? Yes. King Roland and Minister Serenoa have both asked for help and sent reports detailing the extent of the damage to the Crown City. Send forth a veritable bounty. To Minister Serenoa of the Saintly Seven, that is. Ah, yes. A show of the Goddess's grace to the people, and as a wedge to drive between him and the King. Esfrost Glenbrook, they will both be ours before long. Jesus, everybody wants to take over the Norzelia. Just let Walford be in peace. Still 18. Thank you all for helping to determine the extent of the damage to the capital. This information will be invaluable as we proceed with reconstruction. There is also happy word from Castle Woolfort. My Lord Father is awake. They say he is recovering apace and is already up and walking. Those are glad tidings indeed. He says he would like to see us and hear of all that has passed while he was taken ill. Then what are we waiting for? I'll saddle the horses. Would that we could depart at once, but the messenger brought another piece of news. Oh, we need to choose whether to go back home or go Bandits to Rosellen. Plague the outskirts village. of the Rosellen village. Jerome and his folk are there. They can handle a few mangy thieves, surely. Not according to the messenger. The bandits are proving a formidable foe. Which is why they have asked us for aid. We could make a small detour oh, to the Rosellen village first, I think. It's sudden, I know, but I must ask you a favor. Oh my goodness. What is it? I suspect Patriot and his royalists are filching. Oh my god. 
We've no proof it's them, but the fact remains. The people in most need of those goods are... That is also important. The matter warrants investigating at the very least. And I would ask for Woolfort's assistance. I see. Well, we were just discussing what we ought to do next. Allow me to explain the three courses of action before us. One, return to Castle Woolfort as my Lord Father requests. Okay. Two, defend the Rosellan village from bandits. We or three, remain all in the good choices. To investigate the royalists. Lord Simon has recovered. What splendid news! If I could only go to him myself and thank him for all House Woolfort has done. But I cannot leave the capital in the throes of a possible scandal. Too many hold the royal family in contempt as it is. That may be the case, but now that Lord Simon has awoken, someone must make sure he is healthy and apprise him of recent events. Shall we split the party? I would go to Castle Woolfort, Lord Serenaw, if it pleases you. My heart breaks for the Rosellen village. Let me go to its defense, even if I must go alone. I cannot allow that. It's far too dangerous a task for one person. Well, I would have the Wolfort soldiers with me, of course. Besides, do you recall our first meeting? Of course I do. You were being assailed by rogues at the port. If you hadn't been there, who knows what would have become of me. But I am not as weak now as I was then. I am stronger, enough that I shall bring no dishonor to House Wolfort's name. My lord, have faith in me. Let me do this. Very well. Fetch the scale. Hmm. It seems best that Benedict, Frederica, and I each attend to these pressing matters separately. Indeed, oh. the rest of us cannot be in three places at once. We can only choose one path to take. So, okay, they're all gonna be. The scales of conviction. Oh, we're we're deciding where Serenova will go. Is that it? I cannot help but feel restless. We reclaimed the Crown City and have already begun restoration efforts. There should be no question as to what needs to be done here. And yet something has me unsettled. Return to Wolfort. Oh, only Benedict. Oh, it's the garden. I must admit, I am deeply fascinated by you, Lord Ternua. A lord turned sane who won back his kingdom from as frosty clutches and saw the prince back to his throne. I can only wonder how your people will welcome such a hero home. Pray allow me to accompany you, my lord. If I go to Wolfor, I suppose Milo will be coming with me. I hear some bandits were spotted on the outskirts of the Rosalind village. Rumor has it they are led by some father and daughter duo. What were their names again? Trist and Travis. But what could they be after? Okay, good. I needed that. Our salt reserves are running low. We must restore trade with Aizen as soon as possible. As one of the saintly seven, isn't there anything you can do? We need not worry so much. The consortium and merchants are already on the move. Let us give them some time. If we rush into negotiations, we might be taken advantage of. It is in our best interest to wait for the opportune moment. We must have King Roland's permission before we act. In the meantime, we can share a portion of Wolford's stores with the Crown City. I like that. So thank you, sir. The people will be ever so grateful. But if you wouldn't mind, could you please keep the secret from His Majesty? <laughs> At ease. This is for the sake of the kingdom. I know Roland wouldn't mind in the least. Uh, yes, sir. You have put my mind at ease, Lord Wolfor. I cannot thank you enough. We royalists, along with Minister Patriot himself, are helping to rebuild the capital. We must reverse all the changes that Esfros has brought and see the Crown City back to its former glory. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. I know that there are many problems facing the kingdom now, but us royalists are more than happy to take care of everything. Let us serve King Roland together, please see the domestic affair, and reassure the people that everything will be okay. Is it true that the royalists try to win the Archduke's favor in order to protect themselves? If you want our trust, tell us everything you learn about Asphros under their roof. Hmm... I like the sassy Sarnoir, but 
I think it's that one spider. Uh, I wish I could, my lord, but I should do Gusadov had us doing only the most menial of tasks. There isn't anything I can tell you. I should have suspected as much. There's no way Gusadov would tell anything to those he couldn't trust. I do remember one thing though. Minister Patriot said that Lady Erika always wanted fresh fruit and wine brought to her room. I see. Thank you for your help. Superior timber. I think that is to upgrade another weapon. Ooh, <gasps> superior stone. Isn't that for the hammer? Or in this case, I guess the shield as well. Amulet of immunity. Oh, quality fiber. One thousand five hundred. Nice, nice. Extra large HP recovery clip. Good, good, good. Hello, I am back from a little bit of grinding. Uh, I was just collecting money uh, to buy some stuff from the merchant and stuff. Wait, can we go outside? Was there a merchant? I kind of forgot. Uh, to buy some stuff to gather some kudos. And things like that. Ah, uh, I don't think there's a merchant, isn't it? Okay, and also I've uh, I've done a little bit of thinking of what route we should go with. Uh, it seems like there's nothing big going on. And I am curious about her that she said uh, that she will come with us if we decide to go to Wolford. So I did a little bit of research and I was right. Uh, this branching path will give us different units depending on where we choose to go. So we only get her, we only get re to recruit her permanently if we choose to go to Wolford. And I was actually impressed by her. We used her in the last two battles. She's pretty useful. She can debuff bosses, keeping their TP low, and she could also like jump very far. So I kind of like her, and I kind of took a pick on what we will get on different route. And honestly, they're not super duper better than Milo, I think. So I think I'm gonna choose the morality path and go back. To Wolford, we already we already uh, look at the Rosalyn anyway, and the Royalist. I don't know. It sounds interesting, but again, uh, all three are an in interesting choice. But I just want to go back and see our dad and get Milo. Uh, right. So let's start with the undecided first. The Crown City finally uh, back in Glenbrook hands, but our work is far from Listen, over. Lad. Where do you think we should go from here, lad? Okay, so it seems like we can uh, we can persuade him to do anything. So let's just say I wish to return home and tell father of our victory. It does seem kind of a petty, the the most petty choice between the three. Like one is being robbed by bandits, the other is like. Uh, uh, Full of corruption and yeah, we just I wanna go home. I just wanna go home. I should have seen that one coming. So why wolf for day? If both Roland and I investigate, we are bound to draw people's attention, the royalists is included. My father has just regained consciousness. Now she wait to see him to Erdor. I think for Erdor he will like this one. Of course I do. I nearly burst into tears when I heard he was back on his feet. Mm. I want to go back home and see him as soon as possible, then tell him all about your exploit. And further. To be honest, I think going back to World War is what's best for us right now. Oh. Deep in thought. But should be okay. Okay, let's just go for it. Let's not Looks let's not aim for for unanimous vote. We finally managed to rout the Esfrosty forces from the capital. But it seems our busy days are not over yet. Now we must decide which issue requires our attention most. 
the Irish to return home and tell father of Arvid. You would have us return to Wolford, my lord? Ooh, my last destination. My father has finally opened his eyes again. I will see him in this condition for myself. Now is the time for Roland to show his people what he is capable of. We would be not but a hindrance. I don't think she cares about that. <laughs> if we go to Wolford, Milo is likely to follow. It would be best for us to keep an eye on her. That is true. Certainly. After reclaiming the capital, House Wolford gained more acclaim than even the Holy State had anticipated. There is a chance Milo has been given orders by Hyvan to investigate the Wolford domain. We mustn't leave her to her own devices. It would be wise to keep a close eye on her. I understand your concern for our home, and yet... Oh, she doesn't really like that. But okay, let's... Let's, let's move on. Uh, okay, let's start with our darling Federica. I'm sorry, darling. I want to go home. If the rumors of bandits are true, then Jerome and the others might be in danger. I must go to the village and see how my people are faring. Oh, she's really chosen a path. Oh, okay, so we are not, we will not be able to uh, get unanimous yes. footing. Anyway. Things are slowly settling down in the capital right now. Would be the perfect time to pay the Rosalind village. So does that mean Roland and Frederica will not be with us if we choose to go to Wolford? The rumors of bandits are clearly troubling. Perhaps you could help put her mind at ease. I wish you were home. Okay. You wish to return to Wolford, my lord? Yeah, besides, Wolford's domain is pretty near with Rosalind Village. We can easily go there after I go with that. Go see my dad. Uh, if we go to Wolford, Milo is likely to come with us. We can take the chance to learn more about her. I don't think she cares about that, so uh, I will choose this one. I wish to see how my father fares with my own eyes. I understand how you feel. You must be very worried about him. And choosing a different path than Frederica means you trust in her strength. I don't know. But still, I cannot help but worry over her. Perhaps that is the overprotective attendant in I me. I require some time to think. I understand your concerns for your home, my lord. If that were our only issue, the decision would be an easy one, alas. Okay, we will see. So I'm guessing, Roland, you are... Uh, you won't be coming with me regardless. I will remain here in the capital, but you need not worry about me. You must decide where you need to be, friend. Interesting. We may have freed the capital from Asperos's clutches, but there is still so much work to be done. As a member of the King's Guard, I wish to stay here and help unify the Crown City. That is true. I think you had it better to stay with Roland. Why would he have been Roland and come with us to see my dad? But you will listen to reason, so yeah, why not? I see, you wish to return to Wolford. Now that he is king, Roland must resolve matters in the capital himself. Only he can unite his people and restore Glenbrook to his moment. I think that's a better choice rather than just... I would let him know of our accomplishment myself. Good point. I see, so you believe he must be the one to bring the royalists to justice and regain the people's trust. Even I can see that dissent among the citizens. But, as you said, it may be necessary to leave things entirely in his hands to allow him to establish his position as okay. king. I see now why you would return to the wall for domain instead. So everyone is deep in thought, so let's just go for it. So I guess, Benedict, you will go home regardless. As the steward of House Wolford, it is my duty to let Lord Simone know happen uh, while he was ill. Alright, let's do it. And with the persuasion and begin voting. It is time to cast our votes. We have three options before us. Return to the Wolfort Domain, depart to the Rosellan Village, or stay in the capital. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. Roland? Oh, all three who are already decided. So one vote each. Let's see, let's see. Sheila, what say you? I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, okay. I stand with you, my lord. You will lead House Wolford to where it belongs. <laughs> A little bit weird, but okay, I'll take it. You have my vote. Oh, after much deliberation, I have decided to let your convictions lead us. Yes. But we have... A lot of morality now. I have faith in you. I was uncertain, but I trust your judgment, Lord Serena. Oh, nice. It seems like we managed to convince everyone who needs to be convinced. You won me over. Yes, I've got no good reason to disagree with that. So technically unanimous because the three are already decided. 
The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. I feel like we've been choosing a lot of morality lately. But yeah, let's go with our heart. The way forward is decided. We return to the Wolfort Domain with Benedict and inform Father that we have reclaimed the capital. But will Roland and Frederica come with us or no? I must return to the Wolfort Domain, to my father's side. Lord Simon will be most pleased to see you, I am certain. Of course. Fulfill your duty to your father. I shall see to things in the capital. And I shall attend to the Rosalind village. Please give Lord Simon my best. Oh no, Roland. Lord Zeranoa, you are returning home? What perfect timing. I was thinking of heading to the Wolfort Domain myself. Okay, yeah, it seems like she is gonna... Might I accompany you? She's not gonna accompany us had we chosen different paths. Milo, how'd you sneak into the castle? <laughs> oh, let's just say I have my ways. You might find the companionship of such a capable woman a boon on the road. I know not what her aims are, my lord, but I do know she will be easier to watch by your side. Indeed. All right, Milo, you may come. But you'll be put to work for the household. Understood? Of course, my lord. Then this is farewell for now. King Roland, Frederica, until our reunion in the capital. Oh, they do? Oh, and they're kind of like one of the... A few of my units who are already max. Oh, it's this bad. Okay, uh, that is it for this episode. Uh, I think all in all, nothing really big happened, but we do have to choose between three. And we do, uh, we decided to go to Wolfort to meet our dad, who just regained consciousness. And I think we just got a new ally, Milo. So yeah, pretty excited for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give a like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.